<laughs> How are you, Mark? What are you doing today? I'm all good, thanks, guys. I'm going to make a prawn pasta today, so really easy. I'm going to show you how to get lots of flavour in some nice, creamy sauce. And if you want to make it extra special, put some saffron in as well. So this is great. It's quite expensive, but for a special treat, it's uh, well worth putting in. Works really well with us um, prawns. Um, we've got prawns in here, which we're going to fry off later. We've got some tagliatelle, some nice fresh basil, just to give them nice aromas. Um, we've got some stocks in there and cream, a little bit of lemon and some chilli for a little bit of heat. So, first of all, to make a, a really fast dish fast, uh, you need to do some mise en place. That's what we call it in the business. And basically, it's just preparation work. So this is what I'm doing now. So I'm just going to chop some chilies, chop some onions, chop some garlic. And then once we start cooking, we can go straight through uh, cook the whole dish, plate it up, and then just enjoy it. What did you call that? Mise en place. When you just say prep work. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds better. You shifts are so fancy. <laughs> right, so onions, a little, uh, little tip for you, slicing onions. Nice sharp knife, nice flat surface, and do some nice slices in there. And then go across into it, and then just same again on the other side. And then just go through and you get a nice fine dice. So a little bit of practice, you two can do it this fast and you don't even have to look at it either. <laughs> Mike's going to be trying this later on in the show. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Chop my fingers off. <laughs> yeah. Right, so I'm just going to finish off doing this and then uh, we're going to check back later. I'm going to show you how to create this beautiful uh, sauce for the pasta with lots of flavour in there and uh, plate the whole dish and we can try it. So over to you, Mel. Mike, what is cooking in the Mastercraft kitchen? Actually, I've got a question for you quickly. Yes. Where does saffron come from? Um, the saffron plant. <laughs> Actually, I should really know the answer. You don't know right? the answer. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mark does. Um, we're in the kitchen. My happy place. I'm in a happy place, folks. I like it. Food, good company, and saffron. So where is it from? <laughs> the supermarket. <laughs> yeah, the supermarket, yeah. Actually, from New Zealand. You can get it in Marlborough. We grow it in New Zealand now. And um, So what is it? Because it's quite... It's quite fine, and you were telling me earlier that they hand-pick like a couple of stems off this plant. Yes, yeah, so this is the, the, the sturma from inside the plant, you know, so you've got like sort of two or, three, two or three of these per plant, and they've got to hand-pick everything out and then <laughs> dry it. So Jeez. it's very tedious, and uh, hence the price, very expensive. Nice. So what a luxury item. And that's our secret recipe today. Yes. Ooh, oh, geez, hang on, I've just lost one. Don't you spill any. This. So you can make this without saffron if you want, but if it's a special occasion, you know, and you've got some saffron, pop it in. OK, so you're starting to brown up some onions? Right, no, no, we're sweating the onions. Sweating so, the onions. So have a look at the onions sweating there. Onions. So this is just over a medium heat, a little yeah. bit of olive oil, and we're just sweating them. So you're going to see they're going to go translucent. We don't want any colour on there. We want to bring the sweetness out of the onions. OK. So a couple of minutes, then we're going to add the garlic. Yep. So why do we add the garlic later? For flavour. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, for flavour, yeah. And uh, we, we give the uh, onions a couple of minutes, then we add the garlic because it's got higher sugar content. Right. So the garlic will burn if you add them both at the same time. Ah, oh, nice. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, and then we're going to add the chilli. So I've just uh, reserved a little bit of chilli there and, and chopped it really fine and we're going to finish our prawns with that chilli. So obviously there's a specific order that you're doing there. Yeah, yeah. There's obviously, there's a reason for it, isn't there? Yeah, so we're, we're doing it in a certain order, so we're bringing out the maximum flavour of all our ingredients and we're going to get a really nice sort of depth of flavour in our cream sauce. You know, Mark, I like these tips because I'm the type of guy that just chucks everything in a pot and stirs it till it kind of looks cooked, <laughs> you know? <laughs> That's why I'm not Sometimes sure. it works, but uh, <laughs> yeah, most of the time it's just follow the recipe and uh, you're away. So white wine's just gone in there now. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. So nice, nice uh, bit of white wine in there, and we are going to bring that to the boil. And um, reduce that by half, and that's just going to give us some acidity in the sauce. Oh, yeah, nice. Anything with a bit of wine in your food, that's <laughs> yeah, good. I thought you'd be happy. Right, and then we've got some stocks here. So I've got yep. two different stocks, a uh, fish stock and a chicken stock. OK, if you don't, if you're a vegetarian or pescatarian, um, just use all fish stock, that's fine. Mm -hmm. um, but I like to use a little bit of fish stock and more chicken stock, just so you get a bit more of a meatier sort of flavour. So is chicken stock something that perhaps you should have in your pantry all the time? Well, I mean, ideally, um, you know, make a big batch uh, of chicken stock with chicken carcasses at home and then right. put it in the freezer and you can freeze it in small bags and you can just bring it out. Nice. Um, if you haven't got the time to do that, obviously just get some from the supermarket. Awesome. So you can see it's bubbling away now. Well, it smells good too. And then once the, once the wine's boiled, you yeah. know, all the alcohol's sort of evaporated now, so you're just left with that flavour. So I'm going to put stocks in now. 
And then this is where we can start getting all the flavour in. So high heat, and we want to reduce that by about two thirds. So we're really going to intensify all those flavours. I'm a bit disappointed you've bubbled away all the alcohol, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you do the recipe, you can have a full bottle of wine, and then you can drink the there rest of go. it whilst you're cooking. Nice. And then we've got a bit of pasta. So we've just got some tagliatelle here. So you can use any, any pasta you want, your spaghetti. Um, if you're really keen cook at home, you can make it yourself. Um, and then, you know, make it, dry it slightly, and then you can cook it, and it'll only take two, three minutes. If you haven't got the time, or you can't be bothered, uh, go and buy it from the supermarket, get sort of fresh dried pasta, and uh, just pop it in boiling salted water, and, uh, you know, for about eight, ten minutes, and just till al dente. And what did you call that? Tagga, tagga what? Taglatelli. <laughs> Taglatelli. Okay, cool. You say it with an Italian accent, it helps. Taglatelli. Perfect. There you go. Nice. <laughs> Okay, so we've got all the res um, recipes and the ingredients on our website. In fact, people love these recipes. They're really enjoying it. So if you're looking for something different, uh, perhaps tonight for dinner, you could go and have a look now, get all the ingredients, and let us know how you go. We'd love to find out. You can um, always contact us through Facebook or thecafe.co.nz. So we'll keep the pasta going. We've got the sauce reducing, and uh, we'll come back very soon. Over to you, Mel. Yeah, so we're nearly finished now. So we've got this beautiful cream sauce now. You can see it's reduced down. Just going to add the saffron sort of last minute. And then when that heats up and cooks out, it's just going to make it nice and yellow and give us that great uh, aromatic flavour. We've got the prawns cooking as well. So hot pan, a little bit of olive oil, pop them in, get a nice colour on there, flip them over. These will only take about two minutes. So you want to make sure everything's ready um, before you go. So cook them on one side, flip them over, and then I'm going to pop some chilli in. The chilli what we reserved before. A little bit of that. A little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. And you can see the sauce now. It's nice and thick. So I'm going to turn the heat off there. Pasta's cooked. Oh, this is looking good. Just going to drop that in. And a little tip for you here. If your sauce gets too thick, you can just add a little bit of the pasta water just to get the right consistency if you need to. A little bit more flavour than just normal so uh, normal water. Right, toss the prawns. So they're looking ready. A little bit of lemon juice. And there you go. That's all the prawns take to cook. Sauce is all ready. Give it a little taste. Beautiful. A little bit of basil, just roughly chopped. And we can serve the dish. Yum. Oh. This smells incredible. It does. Smell Easy amazing. to find that recipe. Just go to thecafe.co.nz. Go on, challenge yourself. Have this for dinner tonight. Why not? Wednesday night treat. Oh, it smells delicious. Oh, prawns. Are you bringing over knives and forks? Prawns on the top. Do I need to bring them? A little bit of basil. Uh, yeah. Look at Got yeah. everything around here. <laughs> nice work. Oh, yeah. Oh. Right here, let's get some knives and forks. Let's go. Yeah.